buonasera a tutti voi. The story of this project started when Jean-Philippe came to me and said, Cristiano, we want to create a new dream car, thinking out of the box, and with a unique development process. You have to engage the true Alfisti and drive this cooperation. What was beautiful is that we started from zero, with the aim of making this car the most involving ever with true customer participation. But we had to find a starting ground, and here, my other job was crucial. In fact, I drive the Alfa Romeo F1 partnership, and Formula One is the best place on Earth where to find automotive enthusiasts and true Alfisti. I guess you know what I'm talking, Stefano. In fact, the selling process started at the Formula One Grand Prix in Monza exactly one year ago. And the result was impressive. Three cars sold in that weekend, and 33 cars sold in a few weeks. We managed to achieve this because we had a very clear idea. Mixing the strength of our history, our unique technical solution, and the charm and purity of our style sketches. The project had to be simple, pure, craftsmanship and beauty overall. To meet our customers, we reopened the legendary Stara Storica of the Museo, a place protected by the Belle Arti Italian Institution, which is exactly where in 1967 33 Stadale was approved. Here, we created our bottega, a workshop made of artisans with an obsessive attention to detail, specifically conceived to design and craft the car. To fully capture customers' insight, we held weekly meetings and workshops at every stage of the project. All customers had the opportunity to transfer their experience to us and contribute with great ideas. I can say that they have been an actual part of the team. And this is what makes this project 33 Stradale truly unique. Every 33 Stradale that comes out of the bottega will be one of a kind and will receive a certificate of authenticity by Alfa Romeo Classiche. All along this path, history was of inspiration. Hence, I want to share two important dates. First, the earliest sketch of the historic 33 Stradale was designed by Franco Scaglioni on December 17, 1966. And we decided the delivery of the first 33 Stradale will be on December 17, 2024. Second, the car was presented on the Monza track on the 31st August, 1967. And for this reason, in two days, exactly 56 years after, we'll be taking this car to Monza and celebrate it with the special livery that you see now on the screen. Today, we are 100% concentrated into making this the most beautiful and innovative car of Alfa Romeo. And despite any front wind that might come, this project will just be the beginning. We want to keep pushing with diligence, but also be a little bit dreamy. These are the ingredients that brought us here. And now, let me tell you, this project becomes even more fascinating when you enter into the, its technical roots. And so it's time to go deep into it. Daniel, the stage is yours. Thank you. Grazie Cristiano, benvenuti. A drivable and functionally beautiful machine. A bridge between the past and the future. Time and eternity. Easy receipt. But this is what we were looking for. Based on chassis and powertrain excellence, coupled with the utmost technology, as it was on the 1967 project. To comply with our ambition of being the first Tipo 40 Serie for Alfa Romeo since 56 years, we needed three key elements. The first, 33, is track, but Stradale means road. A street legal supercar offering superior level of performance, drivability, and comfort. Not a real need to be a pilot, but unbelievable fun. Hence, each unit is developed, tested, and certified at Auto Delta in Balocco, the 33 home, leveraging on the flexibility of our chassis, the H-frame aluminum, 
the carbon fiber monocoque. And of course, our double wishbone suspension system with active shock absorbers and semi-virtual steering, the typical Alfa Romeo landmark. A next generation of battery emotional vehicle made to embrace zero emission and 100% emotion with a specifically designed Alfa Romeo voice, not differently than that of our V6 engine. The second element is beauty. And beauty is a function of proportions and details, delivered by the utmost technologies and material. The hydrical doors with specifically lightweight developed hinges, windows formed with a unique process, carbon aluminum roof structure, and CFD-driven surfaces that deliver an excellent CFD coefficient of drag with zero lift contribution. That with a specific choice of keeping no active aerodynamic to maintain the purity of the shape of the car. The third element is uniqueness. A single type approval homologation for each car. The first three characters of the vehicle identification number, it's us, it's Alfa Romeo, Z-A-R, ZAR. The second five digit, second cluster, indicates the Tipo 33. We have decided yesterday night with the Club 33, with the customers, with our partners, that these five digits will be 33 STR. The last eight digits are single choice of each customer. In line with the spirit of the model, each car is also individually made. The customers discuss directly with Alfa Romeo designers, engineers, planners, not just the usual stuff, not just the configuration, the colors, the trims, or the optionals, but design elements. We went into designing the car together, the Scudetto, the air intakes, the wheel design. The production is handmade with each car celebrating our strong coach builder tradition. 33 is more than a car. It is a brand statement, embodying the three pillars of our identity. Rosso as a color, but also as a symbol of Alfa Romeo passion. Is there anything more Rosso than this? 333 kilometers per hour top speed. Sportività as an assertion. Acceleration 0 to 100 kilometers per hour below 3 seconds. Actually, on the BEV, it is below 2.5. Braking distance less than 33, of course, less than 33 meters. And finally, Italia. Since this car is imagined, conceived, designed, developed and built here in Italy, not far from where we are now, it speaks Italian to each of you, to each of us. It is engraved in the car itself. A unique masterpiece, uniquely beautiful, designed by Alejandro's team at Centro Stil. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. I believe that looking at the new 33 Stradale, you understand better why we had to do it. We had to do it for Alfa Romeo. We had to do it for all the Alfisti around the world. We had to do it for the people working in this amazing brand and for those who worked here before us. And we did it with a small team of passionate designers, modelers, and engineers whom I have the honor and the privilege to represent here today. It is indeed a dream come true. I can tell you this in first person since I started to draw Italian cars, especially Alfa Romeo, when I was around 12 years old. But how did we do it? Very simple. Respecting our past, our history, we designed simplicity and what we call bellezza necessaria. Respect because we ask our designers to get inspiration from the iconicity of the original 33 Stradale. We analyzed every line, every surface of the body of the original car, every detail on its interior. But we didn't stop us here, because we wanted to bring 33 Stradale into modernity. So we add some design features that we will see in our future models. 
I believe that this particular combination between legacy, history, and modernity is what it makes the new Trento Stradale a great car to look at today, but also a great car to look at in the future. We designed this car with the courage of simplicity, because we believe that we can say a lot with just a few lines. Take a look to the pure and neat body side, where the only existing lines, almost, are those subtle creases on the front and the rear fenders. The front fender starts on the side window, goes across the side, and vanishes, disappears in the front with a little twist that gives a beautiful reflection. Same thing on the rear, the line starts on the side air intake and just disappears before that beautiful Coda Tronca. The mission of these lines is to guide and to control the light when it hits the body. And then, last but not least, we simply applied what we call in Italy, in Italian, in Alfa Romeo, bellezza necessaria. That means beauty with a purpose. Because at Alfa Romeo, always beauty and function, they go hand in hand. Take an, as an example the smart integration of aerodynamics. To reach 333 kilometers per hour, you need a design that works well in terms of drag coefficient, cooling, while keeping its beauty. The front headlamps, for example, has the obvious function, lighting. But below the lighting, you have an air intake that brings fresh air into the side front intercoolers. On the side, we have what we call an air curtain, with the, that allows the air to go through the front wheelers and coming back on the side of the car to have the maximum aerodynamic efficiency. The side mirror, the feet of the side mirror, has also an aerodynamic function because it drives the air directly into the side air intake for maximum performance. You cannot imagine the amount of hours we spend in our wind tunnel to get exactly the result we wanted. But I have to confess that one of the features that I like the most from the 67 model is something you only appreciate when the car is standing still. It is the way it opens 360 degrees to show its raw structure and its power unit once it is totally uncovered. So we had to do the same. We were obliged. The Litra doors give you a very good accessibility for such a low car. And once you are inside of the cockpit, you enjoy a fantastic peripheral view and a lightful interior. Inside, you feel the true Alfa Romeo racing spirit. Straightforward and ergonomic design eliminates every possible distraction from the driving experience. All the attention goes to the pilota, as we call our driver. In front of you, a lightweight, three-spoke aluminum steering wheel and our iconic double canocchiale cluster. Next to you, uh, an aluminum console with a, few, with a few necessary switches to control the main functions of the car. All in all, this interior feels like a tight driving glove in your hand. Tight, but not oppressing. A feeling enhanced by the so-called Canelloni upholstery, a modern interpretation of that dream of the 67 model. I hope you will agree with me that it cannot get more Estradale than that. This is a car that is a dream, a dream for us, a dream for Alfa Romeo. And as Jean-Philippe Imparato was saying before, we want to stop here because we simply love dreaming. Thank you very much. <laughs>